All right, we're gonna start with a light jog right here, guys. Relax those arms, relax those legs, just driving it up. Continue to breathe through everything. This is gonna be a nice, hard workout, but short and sweet, just how you like it. Continue to jog. All right, let's take it to an imaginary jump rope. Using those arms, both feet coming down, you always have the option to march in place. We're just warming up those thighs and arms. And jacking it out. Extend those arms above our head, bring those legs out. Keep warming it up. All right, guys, let's go to knees, driving those knees up nice and light, warming up those hip flexors just a little bit more. And let's take those heels to our butt, warming up our hamstrings. All right, back to our jog. Relax those arms. Nice leisurely stroll. Back to the jump rope. Jump it up. And jacks. All right, taking it back to the knees. We're going a little higher with those knees. Drive it up. And butt kick. All right, we're gonna step touch, right and left. Taking it down. And let's move a little bit further. Shuffle, tap. All right, you have the option to take it to the outside of that knee and tap down. And if you wanna get a little bit lower, you can always take it to your calf. Or taking it down to your ankle. All right, back to a jump rope. Nice and easy jump rope. Jumping it out and in. All right guys, leg width, about shoulder width apart. We're gonna sink down to that squat. Knees tracing over those toes. Chest is up, shoulders relax, abs are braced. Continue to sink in through those glutes. Weight is in your heels. If someone had to lift your uh, top of your shoes up, they could because the weight is in the heels. All right, we're gonna hold it down, walk it out to a push-up position. We're gonna come down, elbows are on a diagonal, pushing down to the ground, and then pushing away from the ground. Chest to elbow height, or you're welcome to go lower. All right, walking it in, alternating knees in, pull it in, slow mountain climber, and then we speed it up. and walk it all the way up. All right, just that right leg. We're gonna go back into a lunge. 90 degrees with the knees, chest is up, abs are braced. Sinking it straight back. And we're gonna do one more. Now, holding it right here, I just want that hip to come in and out. I want you to keep that front leg stable and just drive that knee in and out, warming up that right hip flexor. Arms are hinging right at the elbow, elbows, and driving it into your chest. All right, going straight down. We're gonna take that arm up in front and just drive our knee in. Left leg stays bent, supporting us, and drive the knee in. Press, press. All right, guys, opposite leg. Drive it straight back, 90 degrees with the knees, chest up. And let's bring that knee in again. The opposite side, warming up this hip flexor. 
hinging right at the elbows with a bicep curl. And you should feel a nice stretch through this. Now hold it in. We're gonna go straight down. Hold this down and just drive our knee in. Here we go, pull it in, pull. Remember that right leg is staying where it is, planted. Your knee is not going up and down, bobbing. All right, back to center, nice little jump rope. Let's take it to a scissor. So you're just driving those legs back, using those arms, pushing through. You have the option to take those heels down if you want, make it a little bit more challenging. All right, relax everything out. We're gonna do our first sequence. So keep that jog. You always have the option to march right now. We're gonna walk through it. Walk up, squat, fast feet back. So the option is to walk up and squat, walk back quickly, or hop, fast feet. 30 seconds are gonna go on the clock. We start now. Excellent, guys. Remember to sink into those legs, push off those feet, engage your quads, and use your abdominals and your arms to help swing you forward. You got this. Almost there. And relax. Excellent job, guys. Second exercise. Jack and a twist. Jack, twist, twist. Or switch, switch. Whichever you prefer. Remember, you always can take this to the ground without the hop. Jack, switch, switch. The idea is to work that lower half and to keep that upper body a little bit more stable. Let the legs do the work. All right, relax. Third exercise. I'm gonna down to the ground. Right arm is gonna come out on a 90 degree angle and you're gonna bring your left arm directly to your side and elbow shooting back in a tricep position. So we're alternating side to side. You have the option to go above those kneecaps. Remember, your workout, your choice. And if you really don't wanna do push-ups, you can always hold a plank instead, okay? All right, relax. Now we're gonna put those all together. Relax that body. We got 20 seconds for each one, starting with our first exercise with the leap and the fast feet. Nice and quick, drive it in, push off those feet. Come on, we're almost there. And Jack with a twist. Go, go. Last exercise, push up, alternate, go. Nice and tight through this. Remember, it's not about speed through the push up. Slow it down and try to push through it, creating more of a strength exercise right here. And relax. Take a deep breath, jog it out. Shake it all out. All right, second exercise round. We're gonna alternate our knees and tap inside with those feet. Alternating knees, tap inside. We got 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, go.
All right, second exercise. Let's just jog in place for a second. Catch that breath. Coming down into a lunge position, out into a squat, where we're going to tap our heels in, okay? So here we go. In four, three, go. Click. Click. You have the option to stay planted with that click. You do not have to jump off the ground. But remember, you're using those legs, pushing off the ground, driving through them. All right, relax. Take a deep breath. We're gonna go down to a push-up position. One push-up, alternate legs, right, then left. Option to take it above those kneecaps again, okay? Right and left, again. 30 seconds are on the clock. and relax. Take a deep breath, jog it out. Wiping off the sweat if you need to. Catching your breath. All right, we're going to that third round of exercises. I'm gonna take it side to side skating. One, two, three, drive the knee up. All right, so it's a count of three, driving your knee up, utilizing the arms and throwing your body into that movement. Ready, go. Remember, you wanna use those arms to swing it side to side to continue to work on that agility and speed. Almost there, guys. All right, catch that breath. I'm gonna put it all together. Lunge, squat, click. Lunge, squat, click. Here we go. Pushing through, almost there. Take it down to the ground, push up, alternate legs. And drive it up, it's three skates and a knee. and catch your breath. Relax, guys. Jog it out in place. Let's move on. All right, walking those feet out nice and wide. We're gonna sink into those heels. Press, lunge, wide squat. So we're taking it a lunge to a sumo squat to a lunge. Twisting into it, sinking deep and low into this movement. Engaging the glutes, the butt, the front of the thighs. And let's take it to the other leg, same thing. Lunge, wide squat, lunge, pull it in. 
making sure that upper body is in line with those knees. Facing the same direction. All right, guys, one more. Shuffle. We're gonna shuffle right, left, and right and left. Continue to sink down into it, taking it to the outside of the leg if you want, or inside, either way works. You don't even have to touch the ground. You can always take it to your hip or your knee. Once you gather those feet in, continue to pull those legs in. And now we're gonna just jog into place. All right, back into that lunge, go. Shuffle right and shuffle left. One more, back into the lunge, go. And one to the other side. Shuffle right, shuffle left, go, four times. Back into our lunge, sumo squat. Shuffle. Breathe. Take a deep breath, jog in place. We're gonna take our hands to the ground. We're gonna alternate. You have the option to take it above the kneecaps if you need to. We're gonna alternate our knees in. And then both cross and then both legs. And the option is to alternate knee, knee, back, back. So hop in, cross, hop in, cross. Going for 30 seconds. We're almost there, guys. Push it out, push it out. And relax. Take a deep breath for second exercise. We're gonna widen that stance. Give me two jacks. So we're gonna hop forward, two jacks. So you can either walk up or hop forward two jacks, hop up, two jacks, hop back, two jacks, sinking into those legs, pushing off the ground, knees are bending, trying to use more of your legs versus that upper body bending down to get down to the ground. Relax, guys. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Grab a towel if you need to. Grab water whenever you need to. All right, hands are gonna go back to the ground. Alternating those feet, tapping up, straight up. Abs are braced, hips are centered. Hands directly underneath the shoulders. Continue to brace those abdominals. Nice and quick with those feet. All right, hop in, cross under. Starting from the top. We only have 20 seconds, guys, and then we're gonna go right into the hop and two jacks. Take it up, hop up, two jacks. Again, hop back. Sinking down. And taking it down, alternating your feet, pick it up nice and quick. Option to go onto those knees, above those kneecaps, and then just alternating those above the ground. And relax, guys, draw those knees in. 
shake it out. Wipe the sweat off if you need to, grab water, jog. A little jump rope holding it here, catching our breasts. All right, guys, what I want you to do is take your hands to the ground. We got mountain climbers, just four, three, four. Then I want you to go to the ground, turn around, and do a full sit up, two of them. You don't have to do a full sit up, you can always come up halfway. Two, three, four. Ready, set, go. Almost there, guys. Push, push, push. Right through those knees. And release. Shake it out. All right, guys. Breathing through that nose, exhaling. We're gonna do a fast sprint, taking it to a skate. Fast sprint, five seconds, one skate. Fast sprint, one skate. Relax. All right, going back to our hands and our feet. Catching that breath. Four knees and two sit-ups. Go. And fast run, leap. Utilizing those arms, pulling those knees up. Remember, it's a sprint in place, drive it up. Relax. All right, guys, we're gonna grab our mats. Placing it on the ground so it's near us. We're gonna walk those feet out. Toes are slightly turned out. We're gonna sink into those hips and the knees are tracing over the toes. We're gonna pulse squat right here, pulsing. Continue to keep the chest up, shoulders relaxed, knees and abs braced. Press, press. We're gonna take it right from this. We're gonna do a nice big jump. Here we go, side to side. Now can you go a little higher? Utilizing those arms and the ground. So we're creating a bigger range of motion. Drive it up. Almost there, guys. Push. Right to the end. And relax. Back to that pulse. Right now, you probably feel your thighs, but I want you to go a little bit lower. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there, almost there. Push, 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 push. Three, two, and one. Relax, shake those thighs out. All right. A little bit more for the front of the thighs, but also for the glute. First, I'm gonna straighten this out, and then we're gonna go back. Take that right leg back, 90 degrees with the knees, chest up, abs tight. 
pulsing straight down with that knee. Bracing everything. Continue to hold and make sure that that front leg is at that 90 degree angle. All right, guys, we're gonna add a little jump to this. Here we go, up. You have the option to alternate legs back without the jump, creating some big movements with through the arms and legs. Hold it to this side now, pulse, straight down. Sinking down into this thigh. Shake it out. Shake those arms out. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Nice little jog. Catching that breath. All right, we're trying to get that heart rate down a little bit. I'm gonna go to the ground. Butt is on the ground. Legs are about a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You have the option to take your hands down as you drive your knees in. One knee or take your hands to the side of your head. I want you to drive those knees into the chest and extend them out, right at that three-fourths of the way up. Angle. Now we're gonna take our right hand down and then extend into that. That opposite arm is gonna come to our head and turn into it. So you're extending that leg. Three. And we're gonna switch it to the opposite side, same thing. Feeling those obliques warming up, not warming up, they're already warm. Feeling those obliques engaged. And relax. All right guys, let's lay all the way down. We're gonna go to the inside of our right leg. Tapping the inside. Keeping that right hand planted if you want. And you can come all the way up or you can come halfway up. Totally up to you, your class, your preference. Now, we're gonna extend it and reach across that body, working diagonally through that midsection. And let's go to the opposite side, same thing. I want you to reach inside. And you have the option to tap in with the hand or just take it to the elbow. Totally up to you. And now we're gonna reach across. All right. Relax, taking your palms into the ground or underneath that tailbone. We're gonna walk up and walk it down. Remember, you don't wanna feel like your back is really arching off the ground. You're gonna have a natural curve to your spine. But if your back is compensating and you feel more pain in your back, I want you to drive your hands underneath that tailbone to give your back support. Continue to brace those abdominals and we're just quickly walking it up and down. Now we're gonna lower and lift the upper body up. So those legs are at a 45, probably a little higher than 45 degree angle and just pulse it straight forward. Taking it in and out through the hands. And just the legs, guys. I want you to go straight up with those legs. And let's take it over to a plank. We're gonna hold this plank. This is it. Option to go above those kneecaps, one foot or both feet out. Holding it right here. Forearms pressed into the ground, elbows under the shoulders. We're almost there, guys. This is it, and we stretch it out. And time. Excellent, guys. Let's just take those arms and legs out. Nice stretch through that upper and lower body. Drive that left, right knee in, and that left knee can be bent, or you can extend that left leg out. Taking that hand above or below that knee, 
holding that stretch, driving it in, you should feel the right hamstring through the stretch. And let's drive it in front of our left leg, pulling it into our chest, feeling the outside of that right thigh. Remember, you always can go longer with these stretches if you need to. And then we're gonna switch it to the opposite side. Same thing, roll the ankle out and in. And let's take that leg all the way up. And cross it in front, driving it through the chest. And relax, guys. We're gonna take our hands and our thighs, roll our body up, take our chest to our thighs. Obviously, you don't have to go to your chest to your thighs, but just reach towards those feet. Begin a nice deep stretch through those hamstrings. And relax, shake it out. We're gonna take our right leg forward and our left leg is gonna be back. We're gonna sink it to our left hip flexor. And we're gonna take our left arm across, holding above or below the elbow, feeling a shoulder stretch in this as well. Switch. And we're gonna switch sides, taking that opposite leg forward. Same idea, stretching that right hip flexor, arms are forward, top part of the back. And behind us, chest. And let's take both feet to the ground, both hands slowly roll up. We got one more stretch. Stretching the front of the thighs. Obviously, you have the chance to do that airplane arm with the right or just holding it right here, got your balance. Switch. And shake it out, guys. Wonderful, deep breath in and exhale. You are all done. Thank you.